The way that God has chosen to educate humanity spiritually is by sending down these divine teachers from Zoroaster and Krishna and the Buddha, from Abraham and Moses to Jesus and Muhammad. The Bab is continuing God's ongoing spiritual history lesson to humanity. The Bab was a revolutionary prophet. His life was marked by drama and intrigue and tens of thousands of people following him. Someone with that sort of influence over the masses of people was perceived as a threat. He reinvigorated the process of religion itself, that you could pray from your heart, that you could find the truth for yourself. Traditional Islamic belief has it that Muhammad is the last prophet, so revelation has come to a close. Things would be turned upside down. Yes, justice would be established, but uh, many things would change. They would fight it with all their power and might. They had this fixed view of religion, as opposed to the Bab's view of religion as an evolution taking humanity forward. It was a revolutionary act for a woman to reveal her face. The equality of men and women was now a reality. A time of change, a new revelation, a new truth. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am the one whose name you have for a thousand years invoked.